So um, you, you mentioned toxic masculinity. Um, and I think that, in my opinion, my humble opinion, is that I think that that word gets thrown around quite a bit in society today. And um, I think that when we start there, it doesn't take into consideration, which you've mentioned, a lot of the good that he has on society. And I'll say, for example, if I'm watching videos on Hassan or people that, that literally have a career by talking bad about other people, I'm not waking up wanting to go to the gym. That doesn't make me want to work harder. That's yeah. not, those aren't pieces of art. Like those aren't, there's, there's not really a whole lot of substance other than the click and riding the wave, leaning into onto someone's downfall or trying to tear something down, right? right? You're trying to get big by tearing something down. And so, and I generally agree with you yeah, and, there as well. And that's what I want to make a case on is, is with Andrew Tate, I could, I could, it, it's now becoming popular for people to, because here's some things he preaches. Stop watching pornography, go to the gym. Mm -hmm. The world's competitive. You have to work hard. And those are all re very respectable things. Too. Only way to like, train. He, you he's very smart. You, you can't have a strong mind without a strong body. Absolutely. And that is the heart of the message you have to think about it like this right the top of the funnel is a lot of the controversial clips that go out there that gets the attention mm -hmm. then people hear the reasoning and stick around as a fan and then the people that make it to the next level buy into his course that's the war room which there's a lot of controversy about but at the same time there's a lot of people who claim they have found value in that right so you know i think that that can't just be overlooked um and the toxic masculinity part hearing what I've had to say about the webcam business, do you have anything else that concerns you about him? Yeah. So I don't want to put uh, words in your mouth here necessarily. Sure. But there are a lot of things that he is good at and he is respectable for. But whenever you're taking a look at Andrew Tate from the clips that blow up or the controversial clips and the people that don't like him that pick those clips out, mm -hmm. right? They're looking at it. They haven't dug in as much like you're saying. Uh, and they, they're looking at it from a thousand foot level. Right. And so they look at that and it's easy to hate Andrew Tate or it's easy to to put down Andrew Tate because of the controversial stuff he, he says. Mm -hmm. Similar enough to Trump being president as well. Yeah, that's a very good analogy. Yeah. Uh, and so I think when they're looking at it and myself included in that as well. Andrew Tate is so easy to not like by the consensus. And I generally, whenever I don't like someone, I'm not going to go out of my way and say, this person sucks. Right. Uh, but I feel comfortable and easily, easily saying Andrew Tate sucks because of how much he puts himself out there and the things that he says that are controversial. And, and still, I'm not going to be the you only. You still feel that way, like right now. I do. Okay. And granted, I pr I probably haven't dug into the good qualities of Andrew Tate, and maybe I am still looking at it from a thousand foot level, like the majority of other people who think Andrew Tate sucks. Yeah. So, do you think that it's fair to to draw that conclusion? Which I know you're not trying to push that conclusion on people watching, and I know you're speaking just on what you know as you know it in your own personal opinion on it. And there's nothing wrong with having that opinion, but. Do you feel like it's fair to draw that conclusion based on the amount that you do know about him? Like knowing that you haven't watched. I do because, like, like let's say for, I do. Let's say for example, like you mentioned, you've you have, and, and this is an important key to this conversation. You know that those clips, those aren't on his personal account. Those aren't on. He doesn't. He didn't have a TikTok account. Those mm -hmm. are other people cutting up hour long context. And you had shown me before this some of the Bruce Rivers. Uh, videos. Oh, the lawyer and, reacts and, videos. And I want to and I want to jump into oh, that really quick kiss. because you know he starts those videos off by saying I'm not going to take this out of context. That's very that's 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 literally what he, <laughs> that's literally what he did though. That's literally what he did in those videos because he cherry picked the the those are those videos are 30 minutes to an hour long, mm -hmm. and there's a bit of satire in them, like so. He's he's I'm he's prefacing by saying I'm not going to take this out of context, and then he takes them out of context and then rides through with it. You know, so See, I don't. But, but like, are they out it. of context? But, he still said it, man. I would argue this: 